welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a weekly reading for Aries. Please keep in mind everything is subject to free will, yours, theirs, and the divines. Okay, no one is free from law of cause and effect. These are very, very general readings, so only take what resonates with the rest. Obviously, the rules can be reversed. Okay, so let's see. What's going on for Aries this week in spirit? Okay. What's going on for Aries this week, please? Six of coins. So balancing some things out. But you're not, it's not, okay, but it's not. You're being careless with trying to reciprocate something. Full in reverse. That's your card. Your, your energy is being drained. Someone, you or someone else is also married. And then we also have, you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting and watching from a distance at someone's connection or marriage. Waiting for someone to return some type of reciprocity to you. The world in reverse. It, the cycle hasn't completed itself yet, but it, I feel like it might soon. You're not you have you're not learning your lesson. This is being careless with a connection or your stability, while you're waiting for your shifts to come in at a distance while watching someone else's connection. Seven of Spears here. You feel very defensive, like you want to protect it, or someone is wanting to protect their connection now instead of protecting you. You feel kind of left out, watching someone sell away from you, possibly. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You're mad that someone didn't choose you. You're mad that there's you no... Know, you're turning your back on somebody who isn't leaving. Or someone's very defensive over your forcing them to, or... Maybe you're, you're, you might be really defensive. Someone here is really defensive. But you see there's like missiles. There's communication coming. Or you're sending some form of communication to cause some type of breakup here. You're trying. Someone's going to be defending. Yep. Eight of swords like I was saying it. I mean eight of us. Wands I'm sorry. In the moon. You're communicating secrets here. Or you're communicating secretly with somebody. <laughs> yep. Page of Swords reverse, deception here. Six of Swords reverse. Someone's not going to be moving on towards you. Someone can't move on from somebody else. They'll offer you what you want. And I feel like that's what you're starting to realize that they were never going to do that. Because you're just going to spend. You're, how long are you going to wait, Aries? How long are you going to wait for somebody to choose you? How long are you going to be a pick me, a pick me person? How long? In love, friendship, romance, whatever. Right? How long? Alright, let's see. Anything else for Aries, please? You need to pour you need to pour that love into yourself, please. You're getting clear to this person that doesn't love you like you thought. Queen of Pentacles, this person is very jealous, um, very selfish as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're getting clarity that this person may not have ever loved you. And it's it sucks. It sucks. It's breaking your heart. You will get over this, though, eventually. You will heal from this. This is a lesson for you in self-worth, I feel. This person wasn't sincere. Knight of Cups in reverse. They had no plans of moving towards you. It was like all a game. But yet, you waited. And you waited. And you waited. And you didn't listen to your intuition. You were careless. You didn't take a leap of faith or they wouldn't. You played yourself. Tower reverse. The whole thing comes crashing down. Set yourself free from this bullshit. It's not... Set yourself free from this bullshit. So you got Scorpio... Aries, that's you, Aries. You got Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You got Scorpio. I want to see. I want to see. You got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You got Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You have Scorpio here. You got your card, Aries. And you got clarity of this person wasn't going to move towards you. It, was a, it wasn't true. And you waited for this person. Knowing that they weren't actually going to do it. But well, you did it anyway. See, so ooh, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Full stop here. They're not coming towards you. No, they're not. They manipulate you. They have another lover. They're manifesting more than one. They want to stay in some form of connection here. They haven't ended the cycle. They're not going to. They keep repeating the mistakes of the past. You were just a choice. You were an option. They kept you in the dark about. No communication. You're stuck in your head. You're not offering anything or they're not offering anything to you. And we got the uh, King of Swords here. You're taking a, either you're taking a more logical approach or they are because there's they're retracting their offer here because or somebody here has found out the truth Aquarius energy mm -hmm. yep let's see any guidance please this person lied to you about needing finances in order to come towards you it was an excuse any guidance please yeah, great fortune. They're staying for money. Distance horizons are at a distance from you. Community. You need people who are around you that support you right now. To go on this transformative path here. Taking, yeah, you're in a great deal of despair here around finances too. You're also worried about some type of legal battle possibly. This could be like a jury. Maybe going to court with an older woman here. Maybe lost a job. Official person getting served court documents as well. You're worried. You're constantly thinking about... So you're thinking about somebody getting a divorce at a distance. Main, main male and thief. You, you're afraid this person is going to cheat on you the way they're cheating on somebody else. Or vice versa or whatever. And you'd be right. Because they probably will. You feel trapped by this person. You feel like this person had no intentions of giving you the love that you deserve, and they didn't. You're just now learning that. They were always going to keep you a secret. Anything else for my Aries, please? You need to choose a new direction here. Okay? You need to choose a direction where people communicate with you equally. Okay? You get what you put in, right? There's also a lot of gossip about you or about this person or both. You're tied to it for somehow. You feel bound to it. You're trapped up in your head about it. You feel tied. Yeah, there's a lot of deceptive communication. Someone lied to you about coming towards you, choosing a new direction. They lied about being some type of spiritual connection with you. They did, weren't honest with you, Aries. You're going to end it with them. Or they ended it with you so they could stay with their person because they were always going to stay with their person yeah they got you codependent on them or addicted to them this is also a strong codependency here this is a lot uh, lying about a direction here and people being ratted out this person might be just loyal to money or you are no judgment yeah Someone might be stealing money or hiding money as well. Be mindful of that. Let's see. I'm going to see. Someone told you that they were going to come towards you, and they didn't. No, let's take these three. Let's see this. I want to see the money thing and the mouse. Or the mice, rather. But they didn't. Let's see. Why is what is the compass about? Show me the compass, please, spirit. Yeah, you thought that they were gonna come towards you and choose you, build a home with you, some type of stability with you. Um, somewhere, uh, show me the birds, please. This communication. They communicated this with you, but it was clouded communication. It wasn't really true. They actually were gonna end it with you. Yeah, and offer it somewhere else. They are ending an offer or retracting one. Yeah, my nose is itching. Um, letter, please. What's this deceptive communication about commitment? They lied about it. Maybe they already are committed, or maybe they said that they want a commitment with you, but that wasn't true. 
there's secrets about them and this commitment or what they what they said they wanted with you there's secrets around if they're already with somebody else or married there's a lot of secret secret offers hidden offers okay you're not the only one yeah the man you might be telling this man or this woman about this yeah there's two men here see man man whatever your preferences are somebody here was always going to keep you a secret yep love secret love the writer a messenger and whip somebody here just had a lot of passion for you this is also a third party person they just like the sex or the passion with you that was it it wasn't about real love for them it was about it was about the the thrill they're a thrill seeker or you are show me the fish the money what's this money about what's something's gonna be eliminated about the money that that's what they just like money yeah they're tied to greed they're they're anchored because of money or they lied about that they also could have a child as well or they might be you might be finding out that this person's pregnant or they are anchored to a new beginning because of money there's blockages in communication between the two of you there's blockages in loyalty between the two of you as well there's also hidden communication there's deceptive communication about loyalty they're not loyal to nobody this woman or man or whomever whatever your preferences are at a crossroads here they got to make a decision and the decision is that they were never going to choose you unfortunately that's what i'm seeing here and i feel like you're just now realizing that show me this person i'm going to look at the person that you're dealing with just them They lied about loyalty. I feel like this person said that they would be loyal to you. They're not going to be. They're not even loyal to the person they're with now. What makes you think they're going to be loyal to you? They're not. They're not a loyal person. They like to play a lot of games because it feeds their ego. That's what I just heard. Um, let me see. Let's see. Show me the person. Show me the person that Aries is thinking of. The person that Aries is dealing with. Show me this person. Show me the person that Aries is dealing with. Please. Let me see them. Show me them. Just, just show me them, Spirit. Show me the person that Aries is dealing with, please. The world in reverse. They haven't learned their lesson. Queen of Coins. Could be dealing with the Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person isn't ending something because they're comfortable where they are. Financially. It's all about finances for them. This person might even be a traitor. Tell me more about the person that they're dealing with. Aries is dealing with, please. The hangman in reverse. They're a traitor. And they're about to be exposed. Pisces energy. The king of spears in reverse. This person's a bit of a player. So this is fire energy. And six of cups. They're very, they play a lot of games here. Very selfish energy. They, they are not completing a cycle with someone. But claiming to stand in their power. But they're very, very selfish. And I feel like you're realizing that this person is a player. But you do miss them. Traitor. Six of Swords. Me up, right? The traitor. I feel like you're moving away from someone who betrayed you. You feel like they're a traitor. So you're trying to move away from this person. Or they're coming away from you. They're very selfish. And they're a, they are a traitor. Two of Swords. Very painful ending here coming. The chariot reverse, but they're not coming towards you. The tower is coming for them, though. King of Swords in reverse. This person, they done pissed off somebody from the past. The hermit here. They were warned. They were warned, but they didn't listen. Well, now they have to pay the price, right? Or you do. You pay to play, right? Nine of Swords or Spears here. Very defensive, ready to fight. The Nine of Cups here, very selfish, very overindulgent, don't want to share, not going to get the wish fulfillment here. We also have the Knight of Wands in reverse, very much a player, or they think you, this about you. They're very, very slow to do anything, to take action and or commit, if they ever do commit. They can also be quite lazy as well. They project themselves or appear to be a Queen of Pentacles, but really they're a Knight of Pentacles. 
and a uh, Knight of Spears or Knight of Wands in reverse here. Very impulsive, very sexually driven. They're also very money driven as well. If they wanted to be with you, they would. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't be careless with yourself or your money. And don't be foolish. Obviously, you decide what you want to do. Ten of Coins reverse. Yeah, you might be losing your ass here. Justice Karma is here for someone juggling. There's judgment here as well. Someone made a bad judgment call. We got uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Your energy. Virgo very strongly. Aquarius very strongly. Pisces very strongly. They're not learning their lesson. They, they, you're not the only one, guy, girl, whomever. You're not the only one that they've done this to. And that they, they, they're going to continue to do this. This is just what they do. They get bored very easily. They look for something to entertain them for a little bit, take their mind off of whatever's going on in their life. And once they get bored with that, they move on to the next one. They're never satisfied. You can't satisfy somebody like that. Let's see what other signs you could be dealing with. Let's see. What other signs could Aries be dealing with, please? What other signs could Aries be dealing with, please? Capricorn. Now, you could have, this could be uh, sun, moon, rising, okay? You could have in your chart, they could have in their chart, or whomever y'all are dealing with or you're dealing with that person, okay? These are other signs. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Pisces. And Scorpio. Libra as well. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, and Leo. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There you go. Taurus, too. All right. Sun, moon, rising. You, them, whomever else. There's a lot of people involved. So let's see. Any guidance, please, for Aries regarding this reading, please? Any guidance, please, for Aries regarding this reading, please? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to, re to give and receive the highest energy of all. You also have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You also have stay optimistic about your love life. A positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You'll find love. Unrequited love. You're optimistic about unrequited love. You have two more. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It has passed its infatuation, its obsession phase. This could be the one, though. You've, that's how you may feel, but I don't feel like they feel that way. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then you also have new love. See what I tell you? What I tell you? says a new person has started romantic feelings. Now, this could be you or this could be them. Maybe maybe this is what you're doing to them. Or, I mean, I'm not saying, like, it's a bad thing, but, you know, just make sure you speak your truth or they're doing this to you and they need to speak their truth to you. It's always going to, it was always meant to be unrequited. It was never going to be a commitment thing with this person, Aries. Wishful thinking. You know, you kind of broke your own heart in this scenario by wanting someone to leave somebody else for you. All right. You have time to breathe out. A win-win outcome is forecast. Woman in Libra. You also have surrender to the divine. Yep. Stop trying to control it. Got to surrender it. Expect powerful change. Unrequited love. Yeah. This person might be switching up on you. This could be the one. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, time to give rather than take. Met, which is uh, new moon in Virgo. Then you got meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. Then you got confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Yep. If you were this person's new love, then they're ending it with you, or you're finding new love. As soon as this, as this ends, as soon as you surrender to the divine, you're going to find new love. Okay. As soon as you surrender it to the divine, you're going to find new love. This person has or will be switching up on you very soon. Let's see. Unfortunately, you will find new love. Okay. All right. Anything else just for life purpose stuff for Aries? Author, 
you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed, make the time to write. Anything else, please? Maybe you write about love. Support. Your life purpose is fully supported. Nur nutrition. Uh, you conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Maybe you like to cook. And leadership. Take charge of the situation. Freedom. You're free to do what you choose. And you're supported. And then you also have builder. Maybe you like to build things. Your innate ability to build and create things with... Uh, brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Absolutely. Flowers. Maybe you like to do flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Absolutely. Okay. You have options here. Listen. Confidence. Or consider the career possibilities that are open to you. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. You can do this. Okay. Uh, Aries. I hope this has helped. Um, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit all notifications that way you know the next time I upload. Um, don't forget to check out your Mercury Retrograde reading I've done, okay? It's, um, it's, I think I've already done it. So you can definitely check that out if you like, okay? To see what's coming towards you, lessons, or lessons you're bringing to others, or what the case may be, okay? All right, well, Aries, I love you. Take care of yourself until next time. Bye.